I am back into work today after a weekend that felt really recharging and nourishing. And this morning I feel clear, productive, I just feel great. And on reflecting on the weekend and what's led me to feel the way that I do today, it wasn't so much what I did, but it was who I spent time with. On Saturday I got to hang out with some longtime friends who are just wonderful and mean so much to me. And we had some really chilled out hangs, went on a wine tour, had dinner together, it was just gorgeous. Saturday night I got to connect with a friend who had been away for a few days and it was really lovely to hear about what was going on in her world and feel really connected with her. And on Sunday I had the privilege of running a mental fitness workshop at a gym where I didn't know any of the participants who came along but they were so much on my wavelength and they were so invested in the topic area and really willing to share and participate and it was really warming actually. Not to mention the hosts were just gorgeous people, were really fantastic to work with. So we had a conversation at the end of that workshop and it reflected a chat that I had when I went on a beach walk with a good friend the other day as well around social interactions like diet. So if you think about junk foods and then good foods and sometimes our social interactions are like that. You can spend time with people who aren't necessarily that good for you, who aren't necessarily going to be healthy for your system or nourishing for you. Or on the flip side, you can be spending time with those people who are really, really nourishing and really fill your cup. So I've noticed in myself that the more I have spent time and been more discerning about spending time with that latter group of people recently, the better I feel, the more on point my work is, the more engaged I feel in life, the clearer I feel. So I guess I wanted to pose the question to you today of what is your social diet like? Are you mainly consuming those people in your life who are more like junk food? Are you spending time with people who are even toxic or poisonous for your system? And how can you start to spend more time with those people who will lift you up, who will energize you, who will be good for your soul, good for your mind, good for your body and be nourishing for your system? So just some food for thought for you today. It's been a really useful point of reflection for me and I hope it's useful for you too.